So as always with any of these videos on this subject, I like to take a look at the Netflix stock because I find that story just as interesting as everything else involved in it because it shows the real backlash of the people. So check this out. If you look at five days on this stock, this is well into all of the all of the crazy stuff. You check it out here five days ago, it was at $486. It actually peaked up at $499. Let's just go, set, go ahead and say $500 on September 16th at 9.30 a.m. And then it took another nosedive down and it's now sitting at $470.20 as of 4 p.m. yesterday. Now, is that going to change today? We'll see right now at 7.40 p.m. It is currently sitting at where we had $471. So it's, it's an interesting thing to watch, I got to tell you, because, I mean, if you want to hit these companies, this is how you, this is how you get them. You get them on the stock market. You, you ruin their revenue. You've already got them losing subscribers probably daily, I'd say, Lots of people are canceling their subscriptions as more and more people watch this because as we discussed yesterday, the, the movie was like number four or maybe it's at number five as the number fifth most watched movie in America. And I don't think there's, I don't, I don't think you can dismiss the fact that their, their subscriptions are getting canceled at an alarming rate and more people are watching it. I think people are watching it and then they're canceling. See ya. Bye Netflix. Because people don't want to support degeneracy. There's an interesting story on that. Some more degeneracy coming out of Netflix. We're going to get to that. But I want to go through a couple of stories that broke yesterday. Because this is an ongoing thing. And more people speak out on it daily. So I like to see what they have to say. We can start here. Uh, Netflix gets a little bit of a pass. So you have shows like The View. Which have no problem canceling people that they don't agree with. Uh, in this instance, though, they, they think that the cancel culture is just going a little too far. We don't we don't need to cancel the uh, mega rich corporation. Whoa. Pump the brakes on that one. We love companies here at The View and uh, Legacy Media. Companies come first, not people. People are uh, are trash compared to companies. So let's go ahead. You know, it's 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 doing a bad thing. Yes, it's it's hurting these young girls in the show. But I don't like cancel culture. Culture In this instance, this time, we're going to give them a pass, people. We're going to give them a pass. No need to put the company down. The companies are okay. Companies are your buddy. They're your friend. They messed up this one time. Let's go ahead and just give them a pass. No need to endorse cancel culture for Netflix. These people are disgusting. These people have no real stance. They have no real morals. They have no compass. These people are just corporate sheep. All of them. All of them. Every outlet, even Fox News is, because Fox News did some stuff the other day. I probably can't even say the dude's name. Some woman was on on there talking, giving an interview, and they uh, mentioned he who shall not be named. It's like this 90-year-old dude whose money is in everything. I'm not going to name him. But his name came up. <laughs> they cut him off. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, Fox News. Yeah, yeah, you're no better than anybody else. You're a little more tolerable on some subjects, but all of you are, are trash. Make no mistake, all of these legacy media outlets are pure garbage. And I don't think that's going to change until maybe more independent companies start coming up. I think like Tim Pool's doing a really good job and a few other people. So we'll see. But uh, even outlets like this, you know, that a lot of people seem to think are all right, they're not, they're not any better than anybody else. So one thing I do like to see is stuff like this. You have investigations being pushed. Now they're having calls for prosecution to Netflix, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Let's get that going. Uh, this is distribution of this product, and I would like to see it. I would like to see them held accountable for these actions. I mean, there's a reason the, the movie trends over on Pornhub, of all places. Come on. It's, it's just crazy to me how people... Just turn a blind eye to this. You know, like, oh, this, this is just a coming-of-age film. You should watch it, haters. Oh, you don't want to watch it? Well, you're an istophobe, like I showed you in yesterday's video. 
how they're finally coming out and saying, well, people that don't like cuties are racist. That's the real problem. It's, it's such a joke at this point, but they keep going forward with it. Yeah, I think Netflix should be prosecuted. It's illegal to distribute this kind of uh, this kind of uh, film. It's absolutely illegal. They should be held. They should be held accountable for it. We can't do anything about the French making of the film, but we can do something about the American company that distributed this trash. They should be held accountable for it. And I really do hope that they face some kind of legal problems for it. We'll see if that actually happens. It probably won't, but it would be nice to see. It would show some standards among some people. It really would, but I don't think it's going to happen. So here's kind of the main story that I really wanted to hit. Got Jerry Harris. This broke yesterday from what I understand. And I wanted to talk about this yesterday, but I only like to make a couple videos on this channel all day, and then I might put one on the other channel. And that's really it. I don't like to make too many a day. I think three is fine for a day. Anything more than that, it's got to be a huge story. And this could wait for a Daily Cuties video. Uh, Jerry Harris decided he wanted to make his own Cuties-inspired movies, uh, trying to get uh, some some boy to send him pictures and stuff and a few other charges. He was doing his doing his own cuties casting. Well, uh, he wanted to do a little bit more of a, a hardcore version. Well, what's funny about that is you've got critics condemning him and saying Netflix is a okay. It's, it's rather hypocritical and it really just shows the integrity of these journals, how they'll defend Netflix, but you know Jerry Harris, uh, they'll they'll go after him, and and I think they should both be condemned. Jerry Harris deserves everything he gets if all this turns out to be true, and probably is because it sounds like they have photographic evidence. Uh, he's facing serious charges, serious charges, and uh, I hope he gets in a lot of trouble. Funny thing about this too is he's the star of a Netflix show, the show Cheer. <laughs> What what's going on at Netflix? Is this some kind of pre qualifier to to work at Netflix? You gotta you gotta hit that checkbox, huh? Hey, uh, you know this movie Cuties? You wouldn't happen to you wouldn't happen to be involved in anything like that, would you, there, Jerry? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Welcome aboard. You got the job. Lead role for Jerry. But as the article points out here, in the headline is it's funny that all these blue check marks and. And outlets are condemning Jerry Harris, but they're like, hey, you know, cuties, that's okay. That's, that's a little different. It's artistic. So <laughs> this will be a, an interesting story to follow. Probably follow it some more on Saturday's live stream. And uh, we'll talk about it more then. But uh, I definitely want to highlight this because this just shows you how, how terrible these people are. It's just funny. We'll, uh, we'll simp for the mega corporation, but Jerry Harris... Uh, we're going to go ahead and condemn that one. They should both be condemned. They both did the same thing. They should both be condemned. But we're not going to get any real integrity out of a blue check mark. I think that that's, that's, that's a pretty well-established fact at this point. Uh, we've got more things like this, too. Is Netflix losing subscribers over cuties? Maybe. They might be. I'm not sure. It might be something else that they're upset about. Get out of here. How many more cover stories they're gonna run for for Netflix? It's almost it's almost a joke at this point. I love watching them lose subscribers, and I love watching their their stocks tumble. I hope they keep tumbling. I'd like to see that stock hit three hundred. It won't. It'll bounce back. All this will blow over in time, and it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Throw a like up, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.